Hey, um, we're gonna make this cauliflower pizza. I made one before. I just showed y'all, I think, what the pizza looked like. This time I'm gonna show you how I make it. Cut all this out. Yep, there we go. Two heads. So look, so you see how to do it. You record it? Okay, so yeah. After I took all the big stalks off, like that, I'm gonna do it like this and put it all in here and I'll do it a little bit at a time. It says to make it little, and I don't know if I'm gonna cook it in the microwave or on the stove. I guess I'll put about three or four eggs in it. I'm gonna put it back through this thing and try to grind it a little more. Sam, y'all make me a cup of coffee. I'm eating a piece of your cheese. Either one, I just want coffee. I put the other one away because it's up I just want coffee. Yeah. You think I'll put it in the microwave or do it on the stove? I don't care. Whatever you think. I'm trying it on the stove. It's just mostly to cook the water out. Out. Then when it's done. I'm gonna add some cheese to it, eggs, and Parmesan cheese. Parmesan. I'll be back. There's two ways to do this. Here, and the microwave. So, I think I'm going to do both. Thank you. Let me see how this comes out first. Hear my coffee? I just put it in the microwave a few minutes, Sam. Put it in the microwave a few minutes and I'll put it in this uh, thing. Nuh uh. And let it dry out some. Can you put some hot worm out there? No. It was laying there when I went out. I think it was barking at the neighbor's dogs. Just saute this a little bit, y'all, get the juice, the water out. Pizza sauce. You got any basil? Probably not. I'll make your sauce. All right, y'all used a little bit of everything. All right, y'all, I'm still cooking this a little bit, drying it out. And I'm gonna cook this sauce with a little bit of seasons in it. Just regular cheap spaghetti sauce, uh, pizza sauce. We'll put about two cup, two to three cups of mozzarella cheese to this and three to four eggs. Yes, it's constantly stereo, you don't wanna burn it. I 
going to start out with two eggs, I think. Huh. Yeah, that's why I said thing is leaking. You mean it on top? No, I'm drinking it. That's crazy. It wasn't leaking the other day when I used it. I used it this morning for the rest of my hands. It's about Mexican. I hope I got long enough. I got the right cheese. It'll be all right. What? I thought I was getting mozzarella cheese. It's I quesadilla. Might have, quesadilla I might have some in the fridge. I use some. See if you got any more. All right, Ellen. Put about four cups of cheese in here. I don't like working in other people's kitchen. I can't find nothing. You got any Sprite non I got it. Non-stick spray. Or the fall. Hopefully that'll work. It's a, it's a little wet, but it'll be alright. I'm going to uh, cook this first and then we'll make them up. I don't have enough for two. Whoa, I dropped that bite right on it. I guess I can make one big one. Huh? I can make one big one. I don't see you. That's what I'm going to do. Make one big one. On yeah, I can put it all in one. I'll uh, hit mushrooms on one side. That does not look appetizing. Yeah, gotta bake. It might be a. It might be a little wet, but it. Um, I'm guessing to bake it. I got it in this little pan. Is that going? Look. You want it thinner than this? Yeah. All right, look. Move this pan here. Hurry up. Move this little pan. Pull that little pan out and put this right here. Like that. And I'm just gonna bake it for about 20 minutes. We're gonna bake this for about, I'm gonna start it at 10 minutes on 350. This is what I am gonna do. Throw just a little bit of uh, garlic powder. And I'm just gonna bake it. The oven is preheated. 10 minutes, y'all. Be back. I just put it on bra. All right, y'all. Look at it. It's good. It's fresh. Let's get it out. I 
want pepperoni, mushrooms, and cheese. Come on. It might be a little soft, but it's okay. It's good, don't it? I might eat a little piece. Just to taste. I'm not hungry. I think I'm eating, we eat breakfast tonight. That's what I want. I'm just going to put some pepperoni. And if you want to make it healthier, you could use turkey pepperoni. That's what I use. But this here is regular pepperoni. To me, you can't taste the difference. Charlie, down. Charlie, you want a pepperoni? You want a pepperoni? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Just put a few in between. He doesn't want mushrooms, right? Okay. So the mushrooms. You want spinach? Okay. We're going to bake it for another 10 minutes. Maybe longer. I'm not really for sure. But that was two heads of cauliflower. Minced, chopped, however you did it. On the tray. I'm really not sure if it's going to come out. I'm going to cook this at 3.50. And I ain't burning that. Smoke them on. Why is it going off? It always does. You got it. I'm going to put some more. Yeah, I done drank it with some more pepperoni, y'all. Yeah, Samantha, my Samantha and Samama, you want to come over here and show me how to make this pizza? You see who's making it. Bake it. All right, y'all. It's brown pretty good. Cauliflower crust pizza, y'all, with mushrooms and cheese, sauce, pepperoni, and cheese. Plate it up.
It tastes all right. It's too hot to eat though. Anyway, I'll let y'all know what they said. All right, y'all. I did two heads of cauliflower. Chopped it up, grinded it, and then I put it in the skillet on medium and just kept flipping it to get the moisture out. I did store some in the microwave for like three minutes. I took it out, put it back in the skillet, and I did it there. And I bought the wrong cheese. I had quesadilla cheese, and I put three cups of that in a cup of mozzarella. Next time... I'm gonna make sure I get the mozzarella cheese because I need it. Three cups of mozzarella cheese and three eggs instead of four eggs. But it depends on how big your heads of cauliflower is. So start off with two eggs. Put whatever seasonings you like to make it taste like um, pizza. I used pizza sauce. I used a cheap pizza sauce and added my stuff to it and cooked it. And like I say, I cooked the cauliflower crust first for about 15 minutes and then I put my stuff on it and cooked it. It was a little soft, but it did turn out good. But anyway, I just want to tell y'all that's what I put in it. And I cooked it between 350 degrees to 400 for around 30 minutes altogether. So anyway, that's how I cooked it. Y'all have a good day. All right, y'all made it home. There's old Betsy. Anyway, I ate a piece of pizza and she said that's what they ate for supper. Mine was good. She said it was good to them too, so. Anyway, it was good. So, anyway, if you like the video, like it, subscribe, leave me a comment. You know, I really like to brush my hair today. I did it about five this morning. But anyway, I hope you have a good day. Bye, y'all.